Hi everyone, my name is Willem de Koning and I am currently doing my PhD at the Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I am working on the data analysis of different omics types of pancreatic cancer. But today I will talk about my master project that I did at the Erasmus Medical Center on nano galaxy. So in this lightning talk, I will talk about nano galaxy, which is a galaxy toolkit and workflow for long read sequence analysis. And it's a joint project between the Erasmus Medical Center and the University of Freiburg. So a short introduction on nanopore uh, sequencing. Nanopore sequencing creates long read sequences from for up to 100,000 base pairs. And this makes it easier to assemble uh, whole genomes. And another advantage is that it can span long repetitive genomic regions and it should be easier to identify large uh, structural variations. Now that long read sequencing platforms are becoming more popular, there is a large amount of data created and we need something to be able to analyze that data fast and accurate. And therefore we have created nanopore.use uh, galaxy.eu to be able to give the researcher the tools to analyze the data. So we have uh, three different workflows for genome assembly. The first one is a fly-based workflow for highly repetitive genomes. We have a unicycler based workflow where we you can input besides long read sequences, also short read sequences. And in this way, you can use both uh, the advantages of both sequence techniques. So you can use the short reads to accurately uh, determine the SNPs and you can use uh, long read sequences to more accurately determine the structure of the DNA. And the last uh, workflow that we have created is a workflow using Minimap, Miniism and Reckon to assemble the plasmids or the chromosomes. And we added some tools that you can use to detect uh, antibiotic resistance. So before uh, you can go to the bioinformatics, there are multiple steps that you have to take. This includes sampling, the extraction, sample preparation, and then the actual sequencing. And you always end with the bioinformatics uh, pipeline. And this is what you can run in the nano galaxy. Uh, in the bottom, you see uh, two example outputs of such a bioinformatics pipeline. So you can see the, the plasmid, or you can uh, reconstruct the genome from, uh, from the sequencing. So currently we have developed four uh, workflows. So there's also a metagenomics workflow that you can run. You can find it up na on nanopore.usegalaxy.eu, but we will want to develop more because uh, Nanopore sequencing analysis is a fast developing uh, area. And so we would like to include more workflows on epigenetics, metatranscriptomics, and therefore we would need help from the community to, uh, to keep on developing and updating the tools we already have. On the last slide, I would like to thank all the people that helped me to create the, to implement the tools and create the publication publication, especially Milot, who helped me a lot throughout the process. Uh, I would like to thank the sponsors, Sinica and Support Casper. And on the right side, you can see uh, six QR codes that link you to useful websites uh, related to Nano Galaxy. So we have a demo from Miao Miao from the Avans Hogeschool Breda, where she does a demo of the wet lab nanopore sequencing. We have a lecture of Astrid Heikema from the Erasmus Medical Center on Metagenomics in the clinic. 
there are two links to the to the hands-on tutorial that we have made available as, as a training material for Galaxy. Then there is the Nano Galaxy instance. So this is a link towards nanopore.usegalaxy.eu. And in the right button, there is a link to the publication in case you want to read more about Nano Galaxy. And if you use one of our tools or workflows, please take into consideration to cite this publication. That is my talk. Thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference.